The moment everyone was looking at Mars, Elon Musk's real nightmare began, 7,000 miles away. BYD just dropped $1.4 billion on a breakthrough that could make every lithium mine worthless overnight. Forget small battery tweaks. This isn't an upgrade. It's an execution. And a weapon? Table salt. Yes, the same sodium sitting in your kitchen could trigger the biggest industrial disruption since the internet wiped out newspapers. While Americans wait for affordable EVs, Chinese drivers are already behind the wheel of sodium-powered cars. If this plays out, Tesla's trillion-dollar empire could collapse in less than five years. While the world argued about Tesla software updates and charging speeds, BYD was quietly building something that could flip the entire EV industry. Enter sodium ion batteries. And this isn't some lab test or startup fantasy. BYD, the world's largest EV maker, has already begun building a 30 gigawatt hour sodium ion battery plant in Shuzhou, China, backed by a $1.4 billion investment. You don't throw the kind of money at a dream unless you know it's real. Here's why this terrifies legacy automakers. Sodium is everywhere. It's the sixth most abundant element on Earth. We're talking about powering cars with the same stuff in your salt shaker. Lithium, on the other hand, is rare, expensive, and devastating to mine. Think of it like this. The EV industry has been obsessed with diamonds, and BYD just figured out how to make jewelry from sand. Cheaper, cleaner, and just as effective. Right now, the battery is the single most expensive part of an EV, 30 to 40% of the total cost. Imagine trying to build a house where the foundation costs more than everything else. That's why automakers are losing sleep. BYD claims sodium ion batteries will match lithium iron phosphate prices by 2025. But sodium is a thousand times more abundant than lithium. More supply, same demand, you know what that means. Prices crash. Picture this. You walk into a dealership and the EV costs the same as a gas car. No subsidies, no gimmicks. The battery itself is that cheap. That's a nightmare scenario for traditional automakers. And it gets worse. Lithium batteries hate cold. They can lose 40% of their range in winter. Sodium ion? They thrive in cold. While your neighbor's Tesla struggles to start on a freezing morning, your sodium EV runs smooth. Charging? BYD suggests these new batteries could match or even beat lithium-ion speeds. Imagine hitting 80% charge in the time it takes to grab a coffee. And here's what the glossy brochures don't tell you. Lithium mining is an environmental catastrophe. Producing one ton of lithium can drain 500,000 gallons of water. In Chile's Atacama Desert, lithium mining has already caused water shortages and declining flamingo populations. Sodium? It's everywhere, even in seawater. The environmental impact is minimal, and there's enough sodium in the oceans to power EVs for millions of years. And the geopolitical angle? Lithium supply is tightly controlled. China processes about 60% of the world's lithium, and most mines are concentrated in a few countries. Sodium blows that system apart. Any nation with a coastline suddenly has access to endless battery material. It's like going from relying on foreign oil to discovering it's been sitting in your backyard all along. Before we crown sodium ion the future of batteries, let's face the hard truth, energy density. Lithium ion still packs more punch in less space. Think of it like a sports car versus a pickup truck. Both get you there, but one takes up more room. Right now, sodium ion delivers only about 70 to 80% of lithium's energy density. For daily commutes, that's fine. But for long-haul trucking or aviation, it's a serious gap. Still, battery tech evolves fast. A decade ago, EVs had half today's range. Companies like BYD are already working on next-gen sodium ion cells that could close the gap. The real question is, are they good enough for most uses while being far cheaper and more sustainable? For city drivers, delivery fleets, and millions of commuters, the answer looks like yes. And here's where things get disruptive. If sodium ion takes off, it won't just challenge Tesla. It could shake entire industries. Tesla's empire, its gigafactories, its storage business, its trillion-dollar moat, all built on lithium-ion dominance. What happens if a cheaper, 
greener alternative emerges. Mining giants that poured billions into lithium could see their investments turn to dust overnight. Think Kodak when digital cameras arrived. Only this time, the stakes are in the tens of billions. But disruption also creates opportunity. Imagine EVs so cheap that ride-sharing fleets switch over in just a few years. Or developing countries suddenly leapfrogging into clean transportation they couldn't afford before. Energy storage could explode as solar and wind become viable everywhere. Cheap sodium ion might just push fossil fuels closer to extinction. Not everyone's cheering. Some lithium players dismiss sodium ion as low-end tech. That's corporate code for we're scared but won't admit it. Meanwhile, Citel, the world's biggest battery maker, is charging ahead, aiming to mass-produce a second-gen sodium ion batteries by 2025. When industry leaders hedge their bets, you know a storm is coming. China has already marked sodium ion as a strategic priority, pumping money and policy support into development. The future may not be a clean swap, though. Some experts predict hybrid battery packs, lithium for density, sodium for cost and stability, giving drivers the best of both worlds. BYD's sodium ion facility is set to go live in 2025. Vehicles with these batteries could hit mass production as early as 2026. In fact, BYD has already tested sodium ion in prototypes like the Seagull Compact EV. Industry whispers suggest they're easing the market in before scaling fast. And it's already happening. In 2024, two compact cars in China went into full production with sodium ion batteries. Not concept cars. Real cars you can buy today. If they succeed at the budget level, history suggests the tech will quickly climb the ladder. The sodium ion revolution could redraw the world's energy map. Suddenly, Countries outside the lithium chain could become battery powerhouses. Any nation with access to salt could produce its own cells and cut dependence on imports. This shift could be massive for Africa and South America. Instead of exporting raw lithium and importing expensive batteries, they could build their own industries using abundant sodium. An environmental upside? Huge. Cheaper EVs and scalable grid storage mean a faster break from fossil fuels. But there's a flip side. Millions of jobs in lithium mining and processing could be wiped out. For those communities, the sodium shift may feel more like an earthquake than a revolution. While most investors are still arguing over Tesla and traditional automakers, the smartest money has already moved on. Institutional players are quietly betting big on sodium ion batteries. Venture capital is flooding startups and patent filings have skyrocketed in just the last two years. The companies holding key sodium ion patents could become the next giants almost overnight. But here's the twist. The biggest winners might not be battery makers at all. Industries tied to sodium, like salt production, water treatment, and chemical refining, could see massive gains. Meanwhile, lithium miners may face a crash as their future of energy narrative crumbles. Automakers who poured billions into lithium-ion plants may be forced to retool completely. An expensive gamble, not all will survive. The hidden safety revolution. Sodium-ion batteries aren't just cheaper. They're safer. Unlike lithium-ion, they don't suffer from thermal runaway, the cause of fiery Tesla headlines and exploding phones. They run at lower voltages, are chemically stable, and don't use cobalt or nickel that release toxic gases when burned. For drivers, that means fewer risks. For insurers, emergency responders, and even airlines, it's a game changer. Imagine shipping giant battery packs worldwide without fire restrictions or building battery factories without billion-dollar safety systems. Sodium ion makes that possible. The recycling nightmare lithium created. Lithium ion recycling is costly, dangerous, and often not worth the effort. So many packs end up in landfills. Sodium ion flips the script. They're cheaper, easier, and safer to recycle using common chemicals. Some designs are modular, allowing old packs to be rebuilt instead of trashed. That's a true circular economy. Charging without limits. Today's fast chargers may soon feel outdated. Sodium ion batteries can handle rapid charging without complex systems, 
cutting costs for charging stations and the grid. Researchers are pushing toward five-minute charging, faster than filling a gas tank. For homeowners, that could mean plugging into a normal outlet instead of buying expensive level two equipment. For cities, it means EV adoption without costly grid overhauls. A global game changer. In developing nations where EVs are priced out of reach, sodium ion could be revolutionary. Imagine Nigeria, with 200 million people, finally able to afford electric cars at the same cost as gasoline models. Imagine Bangladesh, Vietnam, or Mexico building their own sodium ion factories, gaining energy independence and new industries. The environmental impact could dwarf efforts in wealthier nations. By making EVs affordable worldwide, sodium ion technology could accelerate global emissions reduction and reshape the future of clean energy. We are standing at the edge of a battery revolution that could reshape the future of energy, transportation, and even global power. While most people are only looking at the basic sodium ion chemistry, the real breakthroughs are happening behind the scenes. Developments so powerful they could make today's lithium batteries look outdated. Researchers are pushing forward with solid-state sodium ion batteries that could match lithium ion energy densities while keeping all the cost and safety advantages. If successful, this would eliminate the last major weakness of sodium ion technology. There's also groundbreaking progress on sodium sulfur batteries designed for grid storage. These could hold massive amounts of energy at incredibly low costs, making renewable energy practical on a scale we've never seen before. Some companies are testing sodium glass batteries that could last for hundreds of thousands of charge cycles. Imagine owning a car battery that outlives the car itself, when you can simply move into your next vehicle. Manufacturing is another game changer. With new techniques, sodium ion batteries could be built on existing lithium ion production lines with only minimal changes. That means faster adoption without waiting for entirely new factories. Even more astonishing are experimental sodium air batteries, which could potentially reach energy densities higher than gasoline. While still in the lab, these designs hint at revolutionary applications for aviation and long-haul transport. But this isn't just about technology, it's about global power. China currently dominates lithium-ion battery production, and sodium-ion could either strengthen its control or completely rebalance the energy landscape. Companies like BYD and Citel are leading the charge, but because sodium is abundant everywhere, other countries finally have a chance to build independent battery industries. This comes at a critical moment. With rising tensions over supply chains and technology, nations are desperate to reduce dependence on Chinese lithium-ion batteries. Yet if China stays ahead in sodium-ion, the world could find itself in an even tighter bind. Military applications add even more weight to the story. Electric military vehicles powered by sodium-ion batteries could operate in conditions where lithium-ion simply fails, giving any nation with this tech a massive strategic edge. Trade relationships could shift too. Countries that export lithium today may lose influence, while nations with strong chemical industries could suddenly become key players. So what does this mean for everyday people who just want an affordable, reliable EV? In the short term, nothing changes. You'll still see lithium ion in today's cars. But within five years, sodium ion could bring vehicles that cost far less, perform just as well, and are safer to operate. For EV owners, this is good news. Sodium ion could lower replacement battery prices and expand the used EV market. For buyers, it's a reason to watch closely before making your next big purchase. For investors, this is both a gold mine and a trap. Companies that embrace sodium ion could explode in value, while those clinging to lithium may vanish. And for parents looking ahead, sodium ion could mean safer, cheaper, and longer-lasting cars for their kids to drive. Don't forget to subscribe to Auto Garage for more fascinating and informative content. Thanks for watching.